Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. I hope you are all doing great. Today in this episode, we are going to discuss about CAPEX and OPEX that is Capital Expenditure versus Operational Expenditure. We will learn to define them and also understand how they differ from each other. And you know what, CAPEX and OPEX are rather simple concepts. However, to some extent, it is the principle of OPEX that contributes to a major shift of companies towards cloud computing. And of course, as we do in all episodes, I will explain this concept in a very the tech blackboard way. I will take the analogy from the real life to explain the concept so that everyone, even a layman can understand the concept and get himself on board to the cloud very quickly. Before we take a deep dive directly on CAPEX and OPEX, let's start this small analogy to understand the concept better. Now here, I want to introduce Mr. Tech. So say a hi to Mr. Tech. Now Mr. Tech is a star salesman in his company and his company wants him to meet a big client in another city and set up a new office if he wins the deal. It's a very big deal for the company and this deal might take a couple of months to finalize and sign the official contract. Thus, staying in a very lavish hotel might be too costly option. So Mr. Tech decides to go for an apartment. Now he has two choices. Either he buys an apartment or rent an apartment. However, to buy an apartment, he would need a huge upfront money. Additionally, if unfortunately he loses the sales deal, he has to sell the apartment to recover his money. In fact, he might have to sell the apartment at a lower price. This is a huge loss of money, effort and time. Thus, he chooses to rent an apartment. He need no upfront money and he is not bound with the apartment. He can move back to his city just by paying a month of rent. No money loss, no hazels, simple and smooth. I'm pretty sure that you can now see the clear benefits of renting an apartment. Now let's bring our main terms CAPEX and OPEX and relate them to what we have understand in this analogy. Now as I bring in CAPEX and OPEX, you can clearly see that CAPEX or capital expenditure is similar to buying an apartment, while OPEX or operational expenditure is similar to renting an apartment. Hopefully, you understand what is the basic difference between CAPEX and OPEX. CAPEX is buying something and OPEX is renting something. Now, look, now let's take a deep dive and look at some of the key characteristics of CAPEX. The first characteristic of CAPEX is huge upfront cost. So whenever you are talking about CAPEX, you are essentially talking about upfront cost or you can also say initial investment. Take a closer look on the graph on the left hand side. Here on the X axis we have time and on the Y axis we have cost. Let's say you start a company and you want to set up a data center. You need compute power, servers, storage etc. Now every company tends to make a big initial investment to buy some extra compute power, storage power or servers keeping future vision or let's say uh, future expansion in mind. So clearly a hefty amount of money is needed upfront. Then as the time pass, depending upon how much infra or infrastructure you have, you incur money on regular basis for the maintenance work. A big drawback for this approach is that your capacity is fixed. Your servers, your storage, everything is fixed. You have already bought them, invested money, and now they're not going to change, at least in near future. And soon enough, this gets messy. Either you are not using your servers or storage to the maximum capacity, as you bought more resources than you actually needed, or maybe the demand is not that high as you predicted. So there is a waste of money. As much of the servers or storage, they are going unused. However, on the other side, if your demand increases, but your data center has limited storage or servers, 
in this case you lose the business now your data center is not capable enough to meet the high demand because it's not possible to scale up the data centers storage or servers as quickly as the demand surge thus clearly a business loss whatever the case may be it's a mess your demand for resources is not matching up with the supply you can also say that the supply is not scalable or elastic i mean you can always buy new servers or new storage but it actually takes more money and more time plus it actually does not solve the issue because you can still witness surge in demand or fall in demand and this surge or fall in demand is always quicker than the speed at which you can buy new hardware looking at the other characteristics of capex where you normally provision your own data centers you are actually owner of everything you are responsible to replace hardware or software or maybe network setup or security everything is your responsibility and of course you need to always keep a trained set of people a trained it team to maintain or do all these above activities for you I hope with all these characteristics you are now able to associate capex with the orthodox or conventional computing model where companies would normally bring up or provision their own data center incur huge upfront cost or initial investment to procure the hardware software uh, storage database and and lot more so what's the solution the answer to all these problems is opex or operational cost opex or operational cost is deeply associated with cloud in cloud you don't have to buy big servers or storage or virtual machines uh, database you just pay for what you use it's like paying a rent for your apartment as we discussed in the earlier part of this video or like electricity bill or mobile bill you pay for what you use in cloud terms we also call this pay as you go and the best part is that you are free from all the hazels of hardware maintenance or like network maintenance or let's say the security of the data center or things like that now you are free to put your focus on your main business rather than doing it things let the experts do the it things for you you use resources you pay for them done and dusted whenever you want to upscale or downscale it just take few clicks in fact it can be automated as well you want to test few more configuration for your new app maybe you want to test your application on new browsers or different browsers just spin a virtual machine test your app delete the virtual machine and that's it you don't even need to give a second thought on maintaining the underlying hardware the cloud provider does it for you you just pay for the amount of time you have used the resource i mean it cannot get simpler than this and that's exactly the whole idea of opex or operational cost that whenever you move to cloud you just pay let's say sort of a rent for the resources that you use all the hardware maintenance network security you know this is all now the headache of the cloud provider Now let's look at some of the other characteristics of OPEX. Opposite to CAPEX, in OPEX you don't have to spend a fortune up front. Once your basic infrastructure is ready, your application is up and running, post that your expense depends upon number of resources that you use, type of resources and the time that you use these resources for. It's easy and less time taking to set up. You just need to do few clicks and all the resources will be provisioned in just a matter of few minutes further let's look at the demand and supply of resources on cloud you can upscale and downscale your resources as per the demand so you can keep supply and demand of resources in sync thus it's fully elastic as i already mentioned replacement of hardware software updates or let's say setting up a high performance network between geo locations to other geo locations is all taken care by the cloud provider even more in some case backup is also inbuilt the cloud provider 
provides you with number of ways to implement security. In fact, it won't be wrong to say that security is a built-in feature in almost all the resources offered by cloud providers. As I already mentioned you, you don't need a special IT team to maintain your infrastructure. And the beauty of cloud is it's highly scalable and it's easy to upgrade. Now let's very quickly compare capital expenditure and operational expenditure. Starting with the official definition from Microsoft, CAPEX is the upfront spending of money on the physical infrastructure and then deducting that upfront expense over the time. The upfront cost from CAPEX has a value that reduces over time. Now, if you look at the definition carefully, it says that you spend upfront money to set up infrastructure. And then this initial investment is adjusted in the book of accounts over the period of time. So, so essentially you spread the cost of infrastructure over the period of time this infrastructure will serve you. Now let's look at the official definition of OPEX or operational cost. So operational cost is spending money on services and products now and being billed for them now. You deduct this expense in the same year you spend it. This is no upfront cost. You pay for a service or a product as you use it. So as I mentioned before, in OPEX, you use the resources and you pay for what you use. No upfront cost. Talking about the book of accounts, you adjust this cost. Let's say in the same month, you incur the cost. So on one hand, CAPEX is just like purchasing an apartment or purchasing a car. On the other hand, we have OPEX, which is more like renting an apartment or like your electricity bill or mobile bills, which you pay monthly. It's important to note that in CAPEX or capital expenditure, you own the asset because you have purchased the asset. However, on the other hand, in OPEX, you don't own any asset. It's just that you just pay the rent for it and use it. So as long as you pay the rent, you can use it. Otherwise, you can just delete the resource and your ownership ends there. I hope this video has helped you understand CAPEX and OPEX. What are the differences between them and how OPEX concept is deeply rooted in cloud. If this video has added any value in your learning, a like and subscribe is highly appreciated. Share this video in your family and friends to spread and expand their learning. Your comments and feedback give me a chance to interact with you and I look forward for them. We will meet again in our next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.